We are continuing exploring and learning the Plan Factor 2020 with hands-on project. In this project, we're going to create a simple tree. The best way when you create a tree, if you have it reference. So we won't have it any reference images. We'll just have creating a very basic tree with a trunk, some sub roots and uh, branches. We also look on some additional uh, elements, how we can enhance that tree if you want to make it a little bit more complex. So let's beginning with our root. And you notice with the root, we want to connect the tree. One thing we look early, early, but we never actually use it. It's a trunk segment. The trunk segment different between a stem segment because it does have it enabled um, roots. You can still do the same things in the segment but it's much easier in a stem if a trunk already created. So let's go just right now, open stem, segment, and a trunk. We used a stem before, and here's a trunk. Notice the root flares is enabled. If we disable the root flares, most time the stem and trunk will be very close together. So it's nothing different will be there. Okay, let's go to segment right here. And you can see they're all same. So in some cases, you can use it just a stem and apply different options to um, creating the trunk, palm, or any other ones. However, it's much easier. It's already when it's preset, much faster to do if you select the right component. So in this case, we have it, our trunk selected. And let's connect the root to our trunk. Connect by input one. And let's zoom out so we can preview all plant. Notice I did not our change, our settings options. It said one meter per one unit. And that's what I want to keep it for the trees. So in this case, if I look on my tree, my tree it says link 10 meters. So it's about what link I have right now. This is assuming a full growing tree. Of course, we can go ahead and modify with random, which we'll do in a second. So next from the trunk, I want to create the branches. And to create branch, we can go again in geometry and we have the branch segment. Again, if you look on a branch segment, it's a similar what we have before with the stem. The only some option is enabled, like for example, a blending and you can see how the nice blend together here and also positioning to use it properly nodes would help you with some predefined settings so it will make much easy to go forward with this um, so i created the branches but i want to create additional we can create more add branches however i think we are already familiar with the loops and the repeats so let's do this. We'll get one repeat connecting. We'll take our branch right here, disconnect from the trunk, connecting to our repeater. And we'll go in a loop, select next, and put it to the, our branch. So now all what we need to do inside the repeat, set how many iterations we want to use it. So let's go start with two. And you can see some segments cannot populate it. It's because some of the pruning and other things, and we'll fix this in a second. But overall, here is about how they're going. I think, you know, maybe we we'll should do three iterations. Yeah, that's look a little bit more interesting kind of plant. Again, remember some of those yellows, it's meaning there will be trimming another effect applied. And we'll fix this in a second. Okay. So our tree is created, but they're all very symmetrical because our branches does not rotate around. For this, we can go inside the trunk. And if we're going to our repeater, we can modify here with the coil, rotation, and other things. Notice we have a name repeater. We don't have a name branch. We could go and modify, change this name to the branch repeater. But I think for um, point of this lesson, we'll just leave it as is. 
Okay, inside the selection for this repeater, let's go use it a roll and call. So we'll go ahead, select a roll, maybe about 48. So we'll adjust slightly and let's go set random 15. And we'll also modify a call. 45 and maybe set 25. So just adjust slightly. You can see how our trunk going. I'm not sure if the call work for 48. Let's go maybe 87, something very unusual number. So it can go. Hmm, does not look as expected. So we can go switch back to zero right now. And maybe a little bit work with adjusting first. Call. Okay, so that a little bit better. And now I can add slightly adjustments. To this one. Okay. Again, we can play a little bit more. But I think for the beginning, it should be work okay for us. In some cases, I do like when trunk go like this, because it's what happened with the trees and notice how the influence going. So it's push them out and it's reason is blending. OK, we also can look on some of pruning. And we can just adjust slightly of the pruning. Zero one. OK, maybe a little bit more. Let's go add pruning to the one. Okay, a little bit too much from top to bottom. 0 0.2 should add a little bit more in, on the top. Okay, and it's about right at here. Okay, radius reduction. We could actually reduce a little bit more if we want smaller branches, but I think we'll. And okay, we can try to set five, a little bit smaller on this one, and a bl blending. So if we look closer right here, we can reduce upper width just a little bit less. And reduce child width too much. Let's go a little bit less even. Right here. So we'll fix it some of those elements that we have, okay? And move away. I don't know if we want to move too much away. Okay, let's see. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more even. And increase blending with material for our branches. Currently, we don't have material, so we won't worry about this, but overall. Okay, our branches, we rotate some on the trunk, but we did not rotate on the branches. So what's happening on the branches? Look, if we click on the next, next, it's allowed us as well to work with all these properties. So we can do exactly the same. We can do 45. So we can set on rotation. Make them different. And same we can do on a call. Just says all these random degrees. Okay. Next, let's go work with us inside the segment with a little bit link. I will reduce link to the three. So it's make a little bit shorter. And to make it more interesting, we can also set maybe to round four. What is happening when it's minus? You will see it's almost like cutting off. So we'll have this tiny stamp almost setting. So in some cases, I like to do this because it's look like a broken branches on the sides, if we're going very low, because it's not link, but the blending still work with this. So and it will create some of those broken elements. We could again make maybe even, uh, let's go actually four, five. So we'll do those ones. Just make them a little bit longer. Okay, we adjust this one, right so it's fine. We maybe play a little bit more with uh, adjustments, but overall I think that coming kind of interesting looking. Okay. Next, um, 
I want to play a little bit more with the influence on the branches because they are a little bit too straight. So if we're going inside the influence, we can also modify some of those properties. So let's go to Google Base, we'll add. You see how they all start going down. We don't necessarily want to this, but we could play a little bit with the curl and swirl. So let's go say with a swirl. And we'll just set this minus 0 0.5 on a Y. And you can see how they start twisting slightly. Okay, let's go set 0 0.5 on a X. So it's add a little bit more twisting to our branches. We could create quite a bit of the twisting by increasing amount of the string. And it says some trees, I saw they can grow this way. However, I think it's maybe a little bit too strong. So we'll go back to 0 0.5 to create some of those twisting on the branches, a little bit more natural look, but again, without overdone. Okay. So right here, so far we created our tree, looks somewhat interesting, twisted with all these branches going in different area. So the next what I want to do is add another teeny tiny branches where we can start hook up the leaves. And remember right here we have our branch and we have next. What we can do, we can inside the loop, we can say end. Okay, let's expand. Oops, click on a plus right here to expand. And we can create and connect to the end. So it's meaning on the end of this, we can add additional things. In this case, we're going to create tweak segment and a connect to the end. So if you notice right here, teeny tiny tweaks, add it to the end of the R segment. Okay, let me go click and zoom in closer. Right here, you see those teeny tiny red ones? So we add those twigs. And they're very nice and useful when we start putting the leaves to them. Okay, let's go to our uh, branch. Okay, we'll see right here we have a swirl. And on a twig, we also want to modify a couple things. First, inside the influence. Okay, we're going to segment first, sorry, look in a segment and maybe size, I don't know how tall we want to run them one, but let's go set 0 0.3 to randomize, make them a little bit taller, shorter, maybe this is 0 0.7. So we'll have a 10, the tallest and about four shortest we add there. But I'm not sure if I like twigs right there. I want them to be a little bit different. So for this, I actually take this end and instead connect to next, we'll connect to the new children. So right there. This way we can go inside the branches and we can select on an end and it says I want eight and two. So we can add a little bit more of those twigs on an end. And we also can kind of more modify how we want them work. So same like with this roll, we can go ahead and set 37 and 55. I'm just putting different numbers and hopefully they will work, they should. Okay, so we have it right there. Select all this bunch of tweaks now add. And in some case, maybe too many of them. And the problem is sometimes if it's too many, we want prune them or adjusting. So the pruning gets help us to remove some of those twigs that we don't want to close. So we can also set adjustment here. And as well, we have it start and end mode. So we can fix some of this elements included our density. So let's go on the density and we can just drop slightly density on the twigs. So it's going to be harder less. And as well, I think we can go in the end and just move from the end, oops, a little bit more. So let's go to add one 
and start actually I want to remove a little bit from the start move them because they're too close to the beginning so we'll just move them slightly up okay and okay let's go to offset on a set and relative I'm just looking how to adjust so we don't have it sometimes too many twigs in the same area we could also apply blending but I think blending will increase just amount of polygons and they're already too small so we don't need to worry about this um, cut link so we don't need to worry about a long one but probability let's pop up cut off probability so right here I'm just looking on trimming some of those pre-cut so they look a little bit more nice. okay we don't need to worry too much on the how they twisted we could if you wanted we can go back into the um, properties transform and we could add some other twisting around here based on this or um, inside influence we can modify but I think we'll just find leave it this like that okay next for ours let's go zoom out a little bit more mm, you know what maybe the twigs a little bit too much we could actually just take and bring them up on this case so let's go ahead look again back to the end and right here we have start so we could okay let me put back to the start here but I still want to remove on the bottom so for this we'll go inherit properties we're going to this scale and because it's a children so we'll go on the scale of the children and we'll just take and bring this down so you'll notice we reduce some amount of them inside here as a scale, make them smaller and leave it above, about same. So it's help create kind of nicer look, I think, a little bit cleaner. Okay, so we created our basic tree shape and let's go just add leaves in our next video.